Hi everyone, my name is Christopher Walker and today we're going to be talking about the background and how to maneuver between frames within Google Jamboard. So first we're going to talk about the background options. So if you go up to the top left hand corner, you'll notice it says background and when you click on it, you'll have a couple of different options. It presets each frame in the non or blank background like what you see right here. But you do have a dot background, a line, grid, grid with a gray background, um, and then blue, and also a chalkboard or black background. Now, if you're using the grid background and you want it larger because you're, you're working with younger students, maybe you can always um, zoom in and then start to draw or complete whatever you're doing from there. Uh, and then to get back out, you can just go back to fit and it goes back to the regular size. Now you're also able to create multiple frames and that's what these are right here. Almost think of them as slides. And so to do that, you would come up here. Um, you'll notice it says one out of one right now because we only have one frame. Um, but if you click the right um, arrow, it's going to create a new frame for you and it's going to even show you where you're at. So we're at two out of two. We can click the left arrow and it's going to bring us back to the other one. Now, if you click on the frames, you also have the options option to uh, create ones from within here as well. Um, and then you can also, if you click on that three vertical dot, duplicate frames or delete them. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial on how to change the background and maneuver between the frames in Google Jamboard.